Randy Long is leading half a dozen members of the Wasatch Mountain Club up Little Emigration Canyon. It's a four-plus mile gradual climb rising some 1,400 feet with much of the elevation gain in the last quarter mile to the upper trailhead at Big Mountain Pass. Great hike. It'd be a lot easier we're going downhill instead of uphill for the last two hours, but uh, other than that's a wonderful spot. Well, why did you start down there instead of up there? I haven't quite figured that out. Yeah. In 1846, the ill-fated Donna Reed Party blazed the first trail up Little Emigration Canyon. Sold to them as a shortcut to California, it took two weeks to hack their way through timber and rocks, just one of the many delays that led to the disastrous winter in the Sierras. The first Mormon wagon train followed the next year. It would be the longest sustained climb of the entire 1,300-mile trek. Over the next two decades, an estimated 70,000 pioneers would make this climb. Today, the wagon ruts have been replaced by a single track hike, bike, and horse trail. But the area has never been developed and remains much as it must have looked to those first visitors 165 years ago. The struggles of those early travelers is not lost on today's hikers. And the more times I hike in this area, uh, more people on the trail hiking with me talk about it. And so it's really interesting and it's amazing. You start thinking about how they ever made it especially with all the weight they were carrying and everything. I would imagine getting up there with a team oxen, yeah. especially some place where we had to cross logs. How in the world did that must have been a major problem to get over those some of those big old logs that were down. This year, the biggest obstacle is water. Yeah. The late spring runoff has usurped portions of the trail. But the wetness has led to a kaleidoscope of wildflowers at the height of their spring glory. The lower trailhead is on a dirt road between Jeremy Ranch and East Canyon Reservoir. Here at Mormon Flat is a small state-owned campground with pit toilet along East Canyon Creek. A footbridge leads to Little Emigration Canyon, but many hikers don't notice the rock walls above on both shoulders bordering the mouth of the canyon. They date back to 1857, built by the Mormon militia under direction of Lieutenant General Daniel Wells. They were to be used to hold off Johnston's army en route to put down the so-called Mormon Rebellion. They were never used as the army passed quietly by. Today they serve as an accent to fields of wildflowers. Mountain bikers consider the trail challenging for even intermediate riders with some rocky sections and numerous tricky stream crossings. And dogs are welcome here. Unlike the western slope off Big Mountain Pass, Little Emigration is not watershed and open to dogs and horses. The Scott Johnson family finds a portion of the trail ideal for dog and daughters. Well, this was an easy hike for me. Um, we were going at a, a pace that was a bit slow for me, but it's a beautiful hike, and almost anybody could do it. 